Hey guys, this is Brendan with Gone Mobile Vans. We're here in the back bay of Newport Beach, just down the road from our shop. Behind me is our new 2023 High Roof Transit demo van. I'd love to show you the build. It's a 2023 High Roof all-wheel drive EcoBoost Transit. It's got the 10-speed transmission, the SYNC 4 large display, 360 cameras. This thing is perfect, and this is just what we like to start with. One of the things we like best about the EcoBoost is really the power that comes with this engine. 300 plus horsepower, 400 plus pounds of feet of torque. This thing tows like a dream. We tow a 17 foot travel trailer, no problem, up over the steep grades. Uh, we love working on both the Transit and the Sprinter, but the Transit really has it beat with both power and availability when you need to really get on the gas pedal for you know uphills and or getting out of a tough situation. So for the suspension upgrades in this van, we went with the Transit Off-Road two inch lift kit. These have the adjustable control arms that are brand new from Transit Off-Road that really allow you to dial in all the adjustments necessary. So one of the benefits to this lift kit is that you can actually go with the Belstein B6 struts on this lift kit and it still keeps the uh, correct angle for the CV joint. So right now this is a really neat solution. We're happy with it. We're going to give it a good test and trial on this uh, setup, but we're um, excited about how it looks. So for wheels on this van, we went with a Method 703s. These are still the 16 inch diameter wheels. And we wrapped them in the Wild Peak Falcon AT3s. And these are in the 265, 75, 16 size. So they're a bit bigger than what we normally go with, but they really look great. They ride really nice and we're super happy with them. So one of the things we like about these Falcons is that they're a great mix of on-road driving and off-road capability. So they're not too noisy, they handle really well on highways, and in slippery conditions, they're fantastic. So in the back of the van, we went with the Van Compass Falcon 3.3 adjustable shocks. We went with their shock relocation brackets as well that'll raise up the lowest part of the van by another inch and a half. Really nice driving with these things. I love the quick adjust on them from stiff to soft, really quick and easy. I think they're the best out there on the market for the Transit. On the front of the van, we have two exterior upgrades. We've got a Ford Raptor grill that we got from overseas. Really a direct swap with a slight modification to allow for the front facing camera and the water washer. And then we also went with a Transit off-road skid plate, which we did a full installation video a little while ago. Really pleased with how both of these look and perform for us. One of the great things about this Transit Off-Road skid plate is it definitely protects that intercooler. Having some extra protection in this area is key. We went with AM Auto half slider windows on this van, so both behind the driver's seat and the passenger seat. We love these half sliders. You can actually drive with them open without worrying about breaking any mechanism on a T-vent window. They fit the OEM cutouts just right. They're nicely tinted. We think they're the best option for a Transit and our Sprinter. So moving back along the van, we did go with the flare space flares for the Transit that has their half slider windows in here. Makes for a huge amount of space inside, over 80 inches of length inside, sleeping side to side. So a tall person like myself can fit in there no problem. We love how they look and the functionality is top notch. Another really cool feature about the flatline rack is that it has L-Track cutouts so you can put in L-Track D-rings in there, strap gear down no problem, really functional rack. Underneath the awning, we've got a rigid scene light that's mounted onto the side of the van. This way you still have illumination when the Fiamma F45S awning is deployed. So on the back of the van, we've got two new products from Flatline Van Company. On the passenger side, we've got their rear door gear carrier. That allows you to put boxes, bike racks, rotopacks, shovel, recovery gear, your skis during the winter, bikes during the summer. It's a really flexible platform solidly built, lightweight, and decently priced. On the driver's side, we've got Flatline's new tire carrier for the Transit. Once again, a really solid mounting solution. It does require drilling through the van door, but the internal bracketry in there is really solid. Happy with the construction of it, holds up really well, holds our full-size spare, no problem. For the driver's side of the van, we did go with the Flatline Van Company side ladder. It pairs up perfectly with their safari rack and it keeps a nice low profile against the side of the van. And it looks pretty good with our full wrap that we did on this van as well. So this van started off as a plain Jane white cargo van and we decided to work with our designer to come up with a really cool wrap. It's a nice color blue with a little topographic design flare and our van logo on here. We're really happy with how it came out. It's a solid looking color in my opinion. So on the top of the van, we've got two 100 watt solar panels. These fit really nicely on either side of the Max fan. We're, these are the only ones that we found that really fit in that location on the Transit. We're happy with how that keeps the whole front of the rack open for other 
storage or hanging out area. We also have a flat mount star mount system for our Starlink system. Really key for having mobile internet when you're out and about in the middle of nowhere, a thing is a game changer. All right guys, that's it for the exterior of the van. Let's take a look at the inside. We went with our standard composite subfloor for this van with a step extension that gives us a little bit more room for the galley. This is our 2 Tech 2 finished flooring. Really like this material. It holds up really well and I can attest to that. I was in Burning Man for the last trip where there's a bunch of mud and this is cleaned up really nice. In the front of the van, this has got the Sync 4 display. It's got the 12-inch display. Syncs up really nice with both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Touchscreen controls for most of the features, air conditioning, heating, things like that. It also has a 360 camera, so when you're in reverse, you've got the top-down view to be able to see all the way around the van. Really a nice display area. Happy with how this cockpit feels when we're driving it. So for the galley in this van, we went with a Lost Highway 36-inch doorway galley. This provides a nice work surface, a deep stainless steel sink. We've got plenty of room for an isotherm DR85 drawer style fridge. We've got switches for both the external gray tank dump and also the water pump switch, 12 volt and USB ports, as well as a household outlet here. Plenty of storage underneath for your trash can, other receptacles. We also put my camp stove down in there, but it's a great galley, lightweight, holds up and really sturdy. One of the things we really like about the Lost Highway galley and components in general is their lightweight construction. So they're aluminum, they're welded, they're riveted, they're bolted together, they're super solid. These things are really built for vehicles that move. Unlike a wood cabinet that's basically built for your house and not designed to move, these things are gonna hold up, they're gonna last longer than the van. Other color options are available. There's lighter colors, there's darker colors. You can also replace the galley countertops with a wood countertop or anything else that you like to really make it your own. But overall, top quality components. So one of the coolest features in this van, in my opinion, is part of this whole bench seat system is our wrap-on toilet integration in the Lost Highway toilet box. This is easy to remove. The lid comes up, take the seat cushion out of the way. You've got a full toilet built into this box. This is an electric toilet that takes your waste drops it down in there, it'll drop down, heat seals it closed and cuts it off. So all you have left is basically like a dog bag worth of waste. You can dispose of it in your trash can, it, no smells, no nothing, it's really, really great. You get about 50 uses out of each bag system and then you can easily replace those things. Underneath here is the mechanics of it all. There's a flush button that'll turns the unit on once it's all done, it drops the waste down in here with the plastic bag that's all cleaned up, ready to go, ready for you to dispose of. We are building these things in conjunction with Lost Highway. If you're interested, these are going to be available on our site in the near future, but we're going to be the exclusive distributor of the integration of the wrap-on toilet with the Lost Highway toilet boxes. So one of the things that we typically do with our storage boxes and top of the bed boxes is we put the same material that we put on our ceilings in these vans. So this helps keep the benches a little bit quieter and it also keeps the cushions from sliding off. Adds a nice little display touch, so even if you don't go with any cushions, it still looks pretty nice. It's a comfortable material, easy to sit on, easy to clean. We think it looks really nice in this van. We like to top these bench seats off with custom cushions in a variety of colors. This is Sunbrella fabric, so it's really easy to clean and hold up. You can get different depth cushions. These are two inch, they're available in three inch and four inch as well. We love to add a lagoon table to this bench seating area. It's super flexible, easy to be right here and work. You could even share it. You got a partner next to you, you can share the table space. This is an awesome location actually for a work surface. I've done plenty of work from this location as well. It pops off and gets out of your way when you want it. There are several different options for tabletops. This is just a single one. We also have trifold ones that open up even further that are actually even usable by the people in the front seats when those seats are swiveled as well. Great location and man, we love these things. For our overhead cabinets, we also went with the Lost Highway cabinets. These are custom for the transit. When we first got started, building overhead cabinets in the transit was a challenge because of the curved roof and the tapered design of the van. 
but we did work with Lost Highway to get custom made transit cabinets. We love them. Super lightweight, sturdy. They don't rattle. Positive latching latches. Cabinet doors are typically available in bamboo. There's also a new all aluminum door available as well. And you could have it powder coated the same color or a different color. Once again, they don't rattle either, even though they're full of metal cabinet doors. Solid solution, man. We are really happy with these cabinets. So for the ceiling in this van, we went with a little something new. We went with a topographic design on this ceiling. Looks really great in my opinion. This material is fantastic. It provides some additional insulating properties uh, for both sound and thermal. It provides any kind of color and design that you like. It's soft, so if you bump your head on it, you're not gonna knock your head around. We also integrate these nice little puck lights in the ceiling. We think they look fantastic. Flush mount provides a ton of light inside the van. It, we think this is the best looking ceiling out there. So for the internals of this van, we did go with kill mat on all the sheet metal, followed up by thin slit all inside every cavity that's in there. And then we have that topped with our quarter inch Baltic birch panels wrapped in a nice marathon fabric. Provides plenty of insulation, sound deadening, makes for a really nice comfortable inside the van for both hot and cold weather. We also integrate some LED reading lights for this area. They're touch sensitive, three levels of brightness, plus a red light as well. Gooseneck, you can adjust them wherever you like. They also have USB ports on top so you can charge your phone when you're in bed. So then another cool integration in our window box area here on the bench seat is a high power USB-C and quick charge port right here. You can actually charge your laptop from this area. Perfect for keeping my iPad charged up while I'm working on the road as well. On the top of the passenger side of the van, we've got some black L-Track up there. It's perfect for hanging soft storage bags like from Van Wife Components. It also allows me, when I take my mattress and roll it up, I can strap it up to the top and to the bottom and keeps the mattress up and out of the way. So a flexible area for other things, D-rings, hanging hooks for backpacks, things like that as well. So for the bed system in this van, we went with the tall fender boxes from Lost Highway. These are 32 inches tall and 60 inches wide. So we've got our bed platform in here that allows us to have basically a full queen size bed. 80 inches long ways this way and 60 inches deep this way. So one of the things I like about this bed system is its flexibility. So this is a one piece mattress. We have options for trifold mattresses as well. This one works great for me. So this is what I roll with, but I can take this and roll it up out of the way. And these bed panels then just lift off, come out of the way, can stack over here. And I've got a strap that goes from the upper L-Track down to my lower L-Track that's mounted on the box. And I can just keep this strapped up and out of the way. The third bed panel can come out as well. So I'm able to use this as a work vehicle as well. I can full, slide full sheets of plywood in here. We've put a Christmas tree in here, whatever it needs. And like I said, this is just an option. We've got trifold mattresses that'll stick up out of the way as well. It allows for a whole lot of modularity with this setup. So this is our internal shower in our vans here. This is a Tetra van shower. This thing unlatches, flips down, and here's your integrated shower pan. It comes with a shower curtain that we just lift up and hook to hooks in the ceiling. It's got the full, mixer valve and shower wand all right here you can turn this on you got full hot and cold water inside the van so one of the highlights of this shower is really that it's it's here when you need it it's easy to set up hang up your shower curtain and then when you're done it just folds up and out of the way it doesn't take up any more space in the van and this way you still have all the amenities that you need you got a full shower hot and cold water in here but it's not here when you don't need it so it's we think it's one of the coolest solutions and we're really happy to be working with these guys so moving down we've got the access panel for our 24 gallon wheel well water tank we get these from northwest conversions and here we've got our full uh, seaflow water pump it's a 55 gallon per minute or excuse me five gallon per minute 55 psi pump it manages the front shower, it manages the sink, and it also manages the rear wash down sprayer at the back. So at the very back of the van, we've got the water access panel up here. This is our fill right here. You basically pop in a regular garden hose and you can fill your water from that location. This is our rear external shower. This has got a shower head that pulls out and it's got a full mixing valve as well. So you have hot and cold water at the back. You can turn it on, you can mix the valve and you can Take your shower inside or outside of the van with both hot and cold water. So on the driver's side of the van, we have our power system. This is an EcoFlow power kit. This is the five kilowatt system. 
This comes off easily accessible. We've got the five kilowatt battery here. We've got the full inverter charge controller there. And we also have the accessible smart DC and AC control panel or fuse panel in the back. So this is the control center for the van, mainly the EcoFlow power kit. This is a touchscreen controller that it gives you system information at a glance. You can come in here and see the available time that's left based on what's running in the van currently. Power system control. We've got the input. So you have three methods of input, actually four. We've got alternator charging. We've got solar charging. You also have shore power charging, which is hooked up. And then also you can go with a third solar input or one of the EcoFlow smart generators input here as well. On the output, You've got both AC circuits, you have six AC circuits if you need, and you've got 12 DC circuits. Six of those 12 DC circuits are switchable here. So we can turn on lights, the ceiling lights, or turn on the water heater, or turn on our Starlink. The other systems are always on and available, but the, there is a main power on and off for both DC and the AC circuits. Really a neat solution. Happy with how this is working so far. The touchscreen controller is great. And it also comes with a really nice app for your phone so you can control things from your pocket as well. Here's our controller for our Wabasto STC 2000 heater. You can dial the temperature in right here. You can start and stop the functionality. There's also a really great app that I recommend using instead of the controller because you can turn it on and off, set timers and temperatures, and check statistics on it from your phone really easy. You can also start the heater when you're not even out of bed yet if you like, but really clean solution and the Bluetooth control is option is awesome. All right, guys, that's it for the tour of our brand new 2023 shop van. Sure hope you like this thing. We love it. Come check it out at some of the van expos later this year. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. Hope to see you on the next one. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the day here. See you guys.